chapter 3. And I am uh, resuming this drunk from the last chapter. <laughs> I just don't, didn't want it to be any longer than it had to be. Besides, this one, nothing comes to pass. So, change of game. This is the filthy drinking game. This is the fucking filthy drinking game. And I'll just start reading it. I think you'll get it. But behold, I, Jacob, would speak unto you that are pure in heart. Look unto God with firmness of mind and pray unto him with exceeding faith and he will console you in your afflictions and he will plead your cause isn't he the ultimate authority you need him to plead your cause and send down justice upon those who seek your destruction unless they're also kissing his ass little dilemma there a conflict of interest what if your oppressor is kissing God's ass too and he's kind of liking it oh. they don't they don't say because if somebody's against you they're against God too because so perfect <laughs> oh all ye that are pure in heart lift up your heads and receive the please pleasing word of God yeah give us some comforting lies and feast upon his love the invisible sky daddy loves you be afraid for ye may if your minds are firm right uh, uh, forever right and woe, woe unto you that are not pure in heart, that are filthy this day before God. <sighs> For except ye repent, the land is cursed for your sakes. And the Lamanites, which are not filthy like unto you, nevertheless, they are cursed with a sore cursing. And we'll get into that later, won't we? Shall scourge you even unto destruction and the time speedily cometh that except ye repent they shall possess the land of your inheritance and the Lord God will lead away the righteous out from among you behold the Lamanites your brethren whom you whom ye hate because of their filthiness <clears throat> and the cursing which hath come upon their skins more on that later are more righteous than you he's saying it to the Nephites for they have not forgotten the commandment of the Lord, which was given unto our fathers, that they should have, save it were, one wife. And concubines they should have none. And there should be no whoredoms committed among them. So what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Did they ignore the book of Jacob, or is Jacob... God, I wish I had an early copy of this. 
I mean, were they ignoring these parts? I mean, I know they can do that. And now, <laughs> this com commandment they observe to keep, wherefore, because of this observant and keeping this commandment, the Lord God will not destroy them, but will be merciful unto them, and one day they shall become a blessed people. They're going to become a blessed people, those Lamanites. Behold, their husbands love their wives. And their wives love their husbands. And their husbands and their wives love their children. And their unbelief and their hatred towards you is because of the iniquity of their fathers. Wherefore, they are much better than you, than Wait, how much better are they than you in the sight of your great Creator? Oh, brethren, I fear that unless ye shall repent of your sins, that their skins will be whiter than yours. When ye shall be brought with them before the throne of God. Wherefore, a commandment I give unto you, which is the word of God, that ye revile no more against them because of the darkness of their skins. Neither shall ye revile against them because of their filthiness. But ye shall remember your own filthiness. And remember, their filthiness came because of their fathers. because of the example that ye have set before them. Finally, I agree with some. And also remember that ye may, because of your filthiness, children unto destruction with their sins uh, and their sins be heaped upon your heads at the last day. O oh, my brethren, hearken unto my word, arouse the faculties of your soul, sh sink, shake yourselves that ye may awake from the slumber of death, and loose yourselves from the pains of hell, that ye may not become angels to the devil, and cast unto that lake of fire and brimstone which is a second death. I made an MP3, so I just ran all these soundtracks together. And now I, Jacob, spake 
many more things unto the people of Nephi, warning them against fornication and lasciviousness and every kind of sin, which sounds mostly about sex, telling them the awful consequences of them. And a hundred part of the proceedings of this people, which now begins to be, be numerous, this people. Yeah, they're just blown up into an empire while they're not being talked about. Because they're not going to talk about history for a while. And, <laughs> uh, cannot be written upon these plates. But many of their proceedings are written upon the larger plates and their wars and their contentions and the reigns of their kings. These prophets, it's amazing. These plates are called the plates of Jacob. And they were made by the hand of Nephi. And I make an end to speaking these words, at least until chapter 4. But I've had enough. Peace. Fuck. Out. And have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is, I don't care what it is. But if you want it, I want it to be wonderful. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you in um, chapter 4, where nothing much comes to pass, but I'll think of something. And uh, mark your calendar for uh, chapter 5. It's a mega chapter. It's a drunk mega chapter. I suppose.